water as you can in between. And that also keeps you from getting hungry. A lot of it is the water. You're flushing out a lot of water weight. A lot of it is the oxy powder. You're cleaning your intestines and colon. The average human carries eight to 10 pounds in their colon. They don't realize it, but you do. Yeah. And that I learned that through the master cleanse. So yes, I lost 11 and a half pounds. A lot of it could have been from my colon, but <laughs> I also feel like this is a lifestyle change. I, after the master cleanse, would ease back into food and then go right into having fried chicken and gravy and mashed potatoes because I felt like I deserved it and I earned it. I don't want any of that after this cleanse. After seeing what came out of me, I want to do this cleanse again. And I want to say you're vegetarian and I've known that about you forever. And I have always wanted to be vegetarian. I think I'm gonna stick to being vegetarian after right. this because the diet itself- It's shocking. Yeah, because you feel <laughs> so amazing from the actual cleanse, you don't realize like, okay, well, is it also because I'm eating super clean and I'm eating vegan and I'm eating, you know, macrobiotic. Well, Emmy, I'm very proud of you. You stuck with it. I'm actually quite inspired to go ahead and take this challenge and do this cleanse with you the next time around. Do you have any advice for me and everyone else out there that's, you know, a little lazy and afraid to go all the way with a cleanse? I mean, there's <laughs> nothing to be afraid of. I don't know why everybody poops, right? We all had that book growing up and I, I don't know why it's such a taboo thing. I mean, it's a, it's a healthy, natural human thing and it's not scary. There wasn't pain, you know, you might get a little cramping with the olive oil, but other than that, it's the easiest cleanse I've ever done. It's a lifestyle change. I feel amazing. Um, not just the 11 and a half pounds that I lost, but the food that I ate has now become my life and I'm gonna live by that now. I don't wanna put the bad stuff back into me because I just spent all this time cleaning it out of me. Right, so good, awesome. Lifestyle change, mm -hmm. less puffiness and everything <laughs> so I can you know, feel invigorated, <laughs> possibly in time for the end of the summer. Well, be sure to just stick with us, watch our journey because I am gonna take this challenge with you. Thanks so much and we'll see you guys here 7 p.m. Central. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're well, here in a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-88-253-3139. Hi, I'm Shane Steiner. A lot of you have been following my progress using Super Male Vitality. The last 19 weeks has been an incredible experience. I was feeling a little down and lethargic during the holidays, and none of the supplements that I was taking were doing any good. That's when my longtime friend from high school, Alex Jones, introduced me to Super Male Vitality. I was a little skeptical at first. Not only would I have the energy to work out and go to the gym, but it, it was actually the changes were happening to my body. Uh, a lot more rapidly. My whole mood, my libido, everything had completely changed. The concentrated organic herbs, they stimulate your natural systems to produce the natural hormones that you need. I just really wanted to, to bulk up and hit it hard and I went in for about the first five weeks and was lifting heavy weight and just really hitting it hard and I gained 20 pounds of muscle immediately. Since that, I've decided I was gonna lose some weight and slim down. I just changed up my workout a little bit and 35 pounds came off. Folks, this is not a joke. This is not a gimmick, it's real. Super Male Vitality, available at InfoWarsLife.com. 
Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. <laughs> Welcome back. Joining me in studio now is Rob Dew with the latest Agenda 21 update. Now, this story actually caught my eye, so I want to talk about this one first. Uh, the Air Force wants the owners to give up their property near Area 51. Now, this is uh, the, the U.S. Air Force is giving some homeowners an ultimatum that they're saying take a $5.2 million, their last best offer for their property by Thursday or the government is just going to seize it through condemnation because obviously they're setting off so many bombs in the area. The secrets are getting too big. <laughs> exactly. They need more area to uh, hold the secrets, I guess. Well, the people don't want to give up their land because it's been in their great, great grandparents family for forever. They say it was the symbol of their blood, sweat and tears. Uh, but the Air Force officials are calling it a matter of national security. Ah, that's right. It's so secure. We can't even talk about it. We don't even <laughs> say that it exists. Right. Wow. Uh, yeah, I have an interesting uh, Area 51 story that I'm not even going to bring up now, but it just because it's long. Um, but yeah, that just goes to show that's what the government does. They love to just absolve and grab things like a giant amoeba uh, going through. And this is kind of what's going on in L.A. now. They uh, just announced that they voted on a new traffic plan. Here's the New York Times article. And I want you to see their headline. Show them their headline, guys. Uh, Los Angeles plan to reshape the street. Streetscape sets off fears of gridlock. Oh, yeah, very. Oh. Here's our title. Let's show them our title right here, right underneath it, so you can see what the real story is. Oh, Agenda 21 to replace car lanes with slow public transportation. Yeah, that's what they want to do. They don't want to add more lanes or improve cars' access around the city of Los Angeles. What they want to do is take bus-only lanes and have buses ride on those and create bike lanes as well. Mm -hmm. They're doing that here in Austin. And right. you can see they'll take a, a lane that was... Uh, two lanes each way. Now you got one lane each way and you got a bike lane that no one uses, but it's got a giant concrete median there. So you can't get over into it or you'll screw up your car. That's what they're going to do here in Los Angeles. City of millions of people, the largest city in the United States, if you count all the area and, uh, and the people that live there. And they want to create more traffic jams right. because what they have just isn't enough. Yeah, well, and it's, I mean, by the time this plan rolls out, you're going to have decades of really bad gridlock because it's you're not going to force these people to stop taking driving right. their vehicles this is just that's their culture la and you know getting down to southern california you need a car but the whole, this plan it illustrates what there is control well yeah okay? doesn't he even say you know we need to make these little condensed neighborhoods where people mm -hmm. can just stay within their neighborhood well here's part of the story too in the seattle bubble seattle preparing to say goodbye to single family zoning so they're not going to let you zone for single family households they say they take up too much room use up too much resources so everything's got to be a duplex, a fourplex, or an apartment. Okay, so that's money for bigger businesses and developers. 
how do people save their money? A lot of people save their money by buying a house and right. saying, hey, this is mine. This is something I could build off of. It retains its value. It may go up in value. Not anymore. You're going to be yeah. you're going to be stuck with renting. Uh, here it is again. Wow. Uh, getting rid of single family zoning. These conversations shouldn't be secret. But of course, the planning of this, this Agenda 21 planning is always done in secret. And then they roll out the plan and say, hey, this is what you guys voted for. And when you voted me in, I guess, you didn't know I was going to vote for uh, Agenda 21. That's that American dream right there. Exactly. Here's the San Jose Mercury News. Plan to require fireplace retrofits at homes for sale heats up in smoke debate. So basically any new house or if you want to put your house on the market, you have to get rid of your fireplace. And that's in California because they don't want you putting smoke up in the air, especially in Northern California, which uh, frankly is about 12% of the population that uses fireplaces as their main heating source. Here it is out of the Oregonian. Uh, air regulators ban visible chimney smoke from wood stoves in Eugene area. They're actually going around finding people wow. $500 at a time for if they see smoke coming out of your chimney in the wintertime. They just don't want it. And this, this is all the different ways they control us, all the different ways. Here's house bans, house OK's ban on rural dust. They want to go after dust that farmers make when they plow their fields. They're saying that's a pollutant. Wow. Dust. It's, with how it, arid it gets everything even is better. without the rain, my goodness. It gets even better. Rural kids and parents angry about labor department rule banning farm chores. What? So they don't want kids to be able to learn work ethic by working on their farm. They're going to ban that because they're saying kids are being exploited. Wow. Hey, you know what? Oh if you my. live on a family farm, you got to go feed the chickens. Yeah. You got to milk the cows. You don't need to learn about hard work. No, it, they don't want to teach them work ethic. They want to be dependent on the government and learning how to this get free goodies. This is the same goodies. EPA that like pumped <clears throat> carbon monoxide into kids to see. Exactly. Much. And I covered that in a report that I released back in January called the EPA wants to kill your grandmother. Um, now, the section I want to play out of this report is not that section talking about the EPA. It's about a 20 minute report. But this is how they want to herd everybody back into the cities because that is how they're going to control you. So let's roll that report. Here it is from The Atlantic. More Americans moving to cities, reversing the suburban exodus. 2013 saw 2.3 million more people living in metro areas than 2012. The trend in city living is driven primarily by two groups, young professionals and baby boomers who are retiring and moving back to the cities they left when they started families. So there they are, they're pushing the old people out. And if they don't kill them first with all these regulations and high heating bills, well. They're going to herd them into these compact cities where then they can maintain total control over them and have control over everything in their house, all the heating, all the appliances. It's all part of this new wave of control that the government's slowly ratcheting up, slowly inching up to take over your life. Have you got your calorie card open on your smartphone? I registered your visit with Slick Travel Corp the other day, so they've uh, allotted you a journey time to, to match mine. It makes so much sense, doesn't it? Switch off brain and go to work. <laughs> With this many people around, I'm glad there's a mega computer in charge. UN-backed scientists call for mega city population lockup. And this is put out by Planet Under Pressure. It has statements here from some of the scientists. Check this out. We certainly don't want people strolling about the countryside. We want to save the land for nature by living closely together. Insisting the world population be locked up within the confounds of megacities, the elites realize that if the herd is to be properly controlled, walls are needed, thick walls. And by constructing these walls and making the masses go inside of them, it will be easier to control. Chief scientist Mikhail Fragius, involved with Planet Under Pressure, told MSNBC, the answer to population growth is denser cities. Now let's look at this 2012 Planet Under Pressure press release. A fast-growing number of high-tech, artificially intelligent, internet-connected cars, appliances, cameras, roadways, and pipelines, and more. That's what they want to push everybody towards, this total control infrastructure. And how will they improve efficiency? Ah, using utility meters and sensors that monitor the capacity of power generation, network, and continually gather data and supply on demand of electricity. Those are your smart meters. Integrated traveler information services and toll road pricing based on traffic, weather, and other data. Those are the black boxes in the cars and the TSA uh, controlling who travels where. Data gathering and feedback from citizens using mobile phones. That's the NSA spying they're doing on you. So all this is under this planet under pressure plan back in 2012. And that was a report I did back in January called the EPA wants to kill your granny. And you can check that out on our YouTube channel. Or if you're a member of prisonplanet.tv, you can log on and have access to all of our reports, all of Alex's movies. And it's a great way to support us. Prisonplanet.tv, you can get your membership now. You got a 15 day free trial 
And uh, you can share your username and password with up to 20 people. So that's right, a great way to get sure the word out. I'm pretty sure it's like out. cheaper than a drink at Starbucks. So Exactly. And I, I guess the big thing about all these articles is we're, we're coming up to the big fight. And that is the cor corporate ownership of our food and water, which right. Christina Sarich uh, put out in an article that we just had out on InfoWars on the 7th. And I like where uh, she's talking about what's going on in Nestle and in California. Um, Nestle's actions are especially despicable. The company is drawing on an unnumbered amount uh, amount of water, likely millions of gallons from an underground spring and then selling it back to the public in that bottled Nestle water that you buy. Uh, 